Hello, welcome to the March 2012 Design Dispatch Slide Makeover of the Month. This month's slide was sent in by Design Dispatch subscriber Bob Carpenter, who works at BidRx. BidRx is a company that wants to become the Priceline.com or the eBay of the pharmacy world so that people will be able to go online and comparison shop for their prescriptions. Now he sent me a slide and there's a table that shows that compared to Medco, which is another online or mail order pharmaceutical firm, you could save up to 86% on a monthly uh, prescription, which is fantastic news. However, the problem was that Bob presented this information in the form of a table, and that really gets lost in all of the other elements on a table. When you're creating a slideshow, you really want to get away from tables because tables take time to read and interpret and the viewers are not getting the message that might be the most important message. So I've redesigned this slide so that it's extremely obvious that patients will save money using BidRx compared to Medco. So why don't we take a look at the slide and see how I made it work. Here we are at the original slide and the title, Individual Savings Example, while it is a description of what this table shows, it's not a very interesting description. And I like to counsel my clients to try to come up with headlines for titles so that they ask compelling questions or have some kind of a teaser statement, which is then supported by what you see in the slide. This table is complicated by several factors, one of which is that the dollar amounts go out to two decimal places, which is really too much information to show the trends that uh, Bob wants to show. We have the prescription amounts, so 40 milligram tab times 90 tablets for the first medication. That is information that also does not uh, help you to see the, the price trends in this uh, comparison. Finally, the total average savings, while they are called out a little bit at the bottom of the slide by being blue and bold, they're not nearly called out as much and that information gets lost. In the redesign, I'm going to make sure that everybody knows about the savings that people can get using BidRx. The first thing I've done was to change the title. Now it's a question. How much can patients save on their monthly scripts? The answer will be the chart that I have created. It is a column chart with side-by-side -side comparison of Medco and BidRx to more clearly highlight the fact that BidRx's prices are lower. Here's how it animates. I've sped it up for this presentation here, but if I were presenting in front of the audience, I would slow the animation down. The, um, it's clear from the size of the columns that Medco prices are greater than BidRx prices. But I have also changed the color. So now Medco is red, which is a warning color or stop sign, or it's generally a negative color when, when viewed in financial uh, terms. And the BidRx color is light blue, which is soothing, and it's a, um, a commonly used healthcare color. So I don't want to have people have to draw the conclusion that Medco is more expensive, even though you can see it. The next animation shows it. It gives you the total monthly Medco cost and then the total monthly BidRx cost with a little swoosh circling around the savings so that makes it completely obvious that the BidRx cost is lower than that of Medco. But the good news doesn't end there. We have the big payoff of the 86% possible savings. So we set that up with a title, Patients Save Even More with BidRx Competitive Bidding. And on the animation, we see that two drug prices drop dramatically. But rather than let the audience uh, come to the conclusion that the pa patients are saving a lot of money, we tell them the monthly Medco cost is $474. The monthly BidRx cost is $65, big swoosh circle, patient saves 86%. Now that is the most important takeaway from this slide. If you like this slide makeover and wonder how you can get one for yourself, well, it's very easy. All you need to do is subscribe to the Design Dispatch by clicking on the link. The Design Dispatch is my monthly PowerPoint newsletter that comes out on the first Wednesday of every month and it always has a slide makeover of the month as well as links to my blog where I teach you some of the tips and tricks that I use to make better PowerPoint.
There are other ways to get in touch with me. You can call the number you see on the screen right now or click on the email link, the website link, or the Twitter link to start Cheating Death by PowerPoint today. Thanks very much. Tune in next month for the next Slide Makeover of the Month.